Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet amigurumi bear. Now I had earlier uh, uploaded a video where I had just made the amigurumi head, the bear head, to use it as a keychain. So I thought I'll do a part two of it and make it into a complete amigurumi bear. Okay, so let's see the supplies first and then we will head over to the pattern. So for this here, I have used a DK weight cotton yarn. This is a light worsted weight yarn. And with that, I have used a size D or a 3.25 mm crochet hook. Now you can use any weight yarn to make this, but when it comes to hook, use a smaller hook size than the recommended one. The reason for using a smaller hook size is to have the stitches really tight so that the stuffing don't show out. Okay, so you can use a smaller hook size for any weight yarn that you're using. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, stitch marker, some stuffing and safety eyes. Uh, so this is a 6 mm safety eyes. Now, you would also require some scrap yarns in black and white color for the mouth nose and the scuff so these are the supplies that you would require now before moving forward a small request if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing now if you're looking for some really simple beginner friendly amigurumi, amigurumi patterns i do have a few on my channel so i'll put a playlist link in the description box if you're interested you can check that up and if at all you're making any uh, projects with any of my pattern, please do tag me in your pictures. I would love to see what you have made. You can find my Instagram, Facebook, all of my social media handles in the description box. Okay, now let's just get into the tutorial. So for the pattern here, we will start with the hands, then we'll make the legs and the body, and then we'll finally attach the head to the body. So this is how the uh, pattern will be. We'll start with the hands. So for the hands here, we'll make a magic circle first so to make a magic circle you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an x once you have that you take your hook pass your hook through the loop that is there on your finger and then pull your working yarn through like this so this here is your magic circle now if you want some more help with the magic circle you can click on the link that is coming up here it i have a separate tutorial how to do the magic circle okay so we'll start round one so you have got your magic circle for round one we'll start with chain one and then put six single crochet into the magic circle so make six single crochet so this is two this is my third single crochet three four five and one more six okay so round one you have to make chain one and then put six single crochet i'll just pull on it so that it becomes a little bit smaller now we'll start round two now for round two the pattern is going to be one single crochet and then an increase so into your very first stitch we are not going to slip stitch we'll be working in continuous round so into the first stitch make just one single crochet into the next stitch make an increase so when I say increase, you have to put two single crochet into the pattern. Okay, so two single crochet has gone into the second stitch and we can just repeat the pattern. So one, two, one, two is the pattern for this round. So this is one into the next stitch, put an increase. So one and two single crochet goes here. In the next stitch again, just put one single crochet. Okay, and then make and increase in the last stitch so this is one and in the same stitch you have to put another one okay so this is the end of round two once you finish round two you will have a total of nine single crochet we will move on to round three now from round three up to round ten you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch there are no increases so into your first stitch make a single crochet you can start marking your stitches so i'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so all the rounds from round three up to round ten you'll have a total of nine single crochet so i'll just put 
one single crochet in every stitch you can make continuous spiral round so i'll complete and i'll join you at the end of round 10 all right you can just fold this over so as to do it quite easily so here i have completed till round 10 so as i said all the rounds from round 3 to round 10 should have nine single crochet now i'm just going to cut my yarn uh, when you're cutting your yarn make sure to leave a long tail because you will need this to stitch this so this was my very last stitch i'll just take this out okay so that completes our hand you can also stuff this in so i have just stuffed it i have not stuffed it light uh, tightly it is just very lightly stuffed so as to just fold it or just give shape so the hands are very lightly stuffed so you will need two of this okay so the hands are done we will move on to the legs so for the legs here we'll again start with a magic circle so start with a magic circle and for round one we'll start with chain one and then again this time also start with six single crochet so i'm going to put six single crochet into the magic circle so chain one and six single crochet so here one two three four five and one more six so round one is done we will move on to round two now for round two you'll have to put Two single crochet in every stitch that is in every stitch we are going to do an increase so into your first stitch make two single crochet so here one okay and in the same stitch you have to put one more single crochet so in the same stitch go ahead and put another single crochet and you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern in the next stitch also put two single crochet one and two and you can complete this pattern and once you finish this round you will have a total of 12 single crochet so i'll complete my 12 single crochet and then i'll join you all right so here i'm at the end of round two and i have a total of 12 single crochet we will move on to round three now for round three we are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch but that will be put only in the back loops so we are going to work in the back loop so if you see we have a v stitch here this is a front loop and this here is your back loop so into your back loops you're going to put a single crochet so in every stitch you are going to put one single crochet all worked in the back loop so one two mark your stitch it might get a bit confusing okay so come to your next stitch you can see there is a front loop there is a back loop this is your front this is your back so just into your back loop you have to make a single crochet so i'll complete this round making one single crochet in every stitch and once you finish this you will have 12 single crochet all worked in the back loop so this will kind of fold like this all right so i'll just finish this so here I'm at the end of round three and I have a total of 12 single crochet. All has been worked in the back loop. So you can see that it has folded up. At this point, you can completely close off your magic circle. All right. Okay, so that is done. We will move on to round four. Now from uh, round four to round seven, you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch. There are no increases. And this time we are going to use both the loops so using both the loops make one single crochet in every stitch around so this is one this is two and you can just go ahead and continue this pattern now every round from round four to round seven will have a total of 12 single crochet so just complete this making one single crochet in every stitch so i'll just complete it and i'll join you at the end of round seven so here I have finished till round 7 and at the end of it I have a total of 12 single crochet. Now you'll have to repeat this pattern one more time to make the second leg. So I have already made one. So this is till round 7 and once I finish round 7 I just cut my yarn here. Okay. And this one here I am not cutting my yarn. I am going to join to this leg. So both are of the same pattern you have to do till round 7. Now once you are done with round 7 make three chain stitch chain three one two three and i'm going to join it to this leg with a single crochet so if you see we have cut our yarn here so i'm going to put a single crochet here 
so come here and make your single crochet to attach the leg so this is my single crochet I'm just going to mark my stitch here so this is the start of our round 8 and we are going to make a total of 8 uh, sorry 12 single crochet so this is one so you just have to make one single crochet in all of these stitches till you have a total of 12 so I'll just make that one is done this is my second one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and one more twelve okay so here i have made a total of twelve single crochet on one leg now you have three chain stitch here so if you see we have one two three three chain stitch this is the starting stitch not that one but the chain three into the first stitch go ahead and make a single crochet so there is like a V you have to take just one loop of your V this one here I hope I'm able to show it so here make three single crochet one into the next stitch also just make one single crochet two and one more into the third stitch so this here is my third stitch here again I have made one single crochet all right next you have to make one single crochet in the 12 stitches of this leg okay so we'll do that so come to your first stitch make 12 single crochets so I'll just put my 12 single crochet around this leg one two three like that I'll just complete this and I'll show you so here I have completed one single crochet in the 12 stitches here now if you see we have three stitches three chain stitches left so the other side of the ch uh, chain stitch so you can see three lines here so make one single crochet in those three stitches also so here this will be like the opposite side of your chain stitches so make three single crochet one into the next stitch also just another single crochet two and one more three okay so i have made three stitches and i have reached my first stitch marker all right so that is the end of round eight so once you finish round eight you will have 12 single crochet here 12 single crochet on this leg then three single crochets on the chain three on either side so three plus three so total uh, after your round eight will be a total of 30 single crochet 12 plus 12 plus three plus three so that is how round eight is now from round nine up to round um, 13 you have to just put one single crochet in every stitch there are no increases no decreases nothing you just have to put one single crochet in every stitch so i'm just going to put one single crochet on top of every stitch one two do not forget to mark your stitches otherwise you can get confusing so i'm just going to go ahead and make 30 single crochet for round nine uh, up till round 13 so just go ahead and make one single crochet so i'll join you at the end of round 13 so here i'm at the end of round 13 and once you finish this round you should have a total of 30 single crochet okay now we'll move on to round 14 and from here we are going to do the decrease round so what we'll do is we'll make eight single crochet and then a decrease so we'll do that so this is one this is two you can mark your stitch before moving forward so i have made two single crochets i'll have to make eight so this is three four five six seven and one more eight so here i have made eight single crochet 
Next, I'm going to do a decrease stitch. So we are going to do a decrease and we are using two stitches to do the decrease. So this is, we're going to do an invisible decrease. So what we'll do is we will use the front two loops of the next two stitches. So insert your hook into the front loop of the first stitch. Just one front loop like this one. Then just turn and twist your hook and insert your hook to the first uh, to the front loop of the second stitch then yarn over and pull your yarn through the two loops you have two loops left yarn over pull through both so this is your invisible decrease i'll show you once more so before that i'll have to put eight single crochets so into the next eight stitches i'll make one single crochet each and then we will put a invisible decrease now if you find making invisible decrease very difficult you can go ahead and make a single crochet two together stitch also that's also fine oh, and just give it a count so this was my decrease one two three four five six seven i'll have to make one more eight and then i'm going to do a decrease so i'm going to use two stitches so just insert your hook through the front loop of one stitch turn and twist and insert your hook through the front loop of the next stitch then yarn over and pull through the first two loops again yarn over pull through the last two loops so this is your invisible decrease i'll have to do one more set so i'll again make eight, eight single crochet and then a decrease and i'll join you at the end of this round so here I'm at the end of round 14 and once you finish this round you should have a total of 27 single crochet. Now we will move on to the next round so we'll start round 15. Now the pattern for round 15 is we'll make 7 single crochet and then a decrease. So make 7 single crochet 1, 2, I'll just mark my stitch. So just like we did earlier we are going to put this time 7 single crochet this is three four five six and one last one seven okay so here we are going to make seven single crochet and then a decrease so using the front loop of the next two stitches make your decrease so insert your hook through the front loop of the first stitch then go to the front loop of the second stitch yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull to the next two loops so this is your decrease so again you can continue this make seven single crochet and a decrease you will have to do two more times and you will be ending on a decrease stitch so here i'm at the end of round 15 and once you finish this round you should have a total of 24 single crochet we will move on to round 16. Now the pattern for round 16 is you will make 6 single crochet and then a decrease. So we will do that. So make 6 single crochet. 1, 2, mark your stitch before you move. So 1, 2. This here is my third stitch. 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so here I have made 6 single crochet. And now I'm going to do the decrease stitch. So using the front loop of the two stitches, make your single crochet invisible decrease. Okay. And you can repeat this two more times. You have to make six single crochet and a decrease. So I'll just complete this and join you at the end of this round. All right. So here I'm at the end of round 16 and I have a total of 21 single crochet. Now we'll just continue the decreasing pattern. So round 17, you will be making 5 single crochet and then a decrease. Round 18, you will make 4 single crochet and a decrease. And round 19, you will make 3 single crochet and a decrease. So you can just repeat the decreasing pattern. I will make 3 more rounds and I will join you at the end of round 19. Alright. So here I am at the end of round 19 and I have a total of 12 single crochet okay so with this our pattern is done you can cut your yarn here so i'm just going to leave a long tail end uh, because we have to stitch this up onto the head so i'll just cut my yarn here and take this out so i have already filled the stuffing also 
so just fill in the stuffing make sure it reaches your leg if you find uh, stuffing very difficult to uh, put in this round then you can take this round off and do the stuffing in the previous round that would be much more easy i just forgot to mention that uh, but make sure that the stuffing reaches the legs also okay now we'll attach the hands to this so take one of your hands okay so here i've got my hand here and attach it to a yarn needle now what we'll do is we will attach the hands just one round below it not on these stitches but in this round the previous round we are going to attach the hand so just hold this just fold it like this and where your legs are on that side we are going to attach a hand not the very last round but just below that i am going to attach the hand So this is my next stitch, I'll come from here and go through the two stitches of the hand. I hope I'm visible here and push it out. Come to this stitch through two stitches from the hand and one stitch from the row below round below so you can go two th two to three times here so that the hand is quite nicely attached so i'll take my needle through this come through the last two stitches and take it out like this okay so here I have attached only once. I will go one more time so that it is quite nicely secured. Like that you can attach the next hand also. So here I have attached both the hands and our body is done. Now the only thing that is left is to make the head. So here I have already made the head. Uh, I have a separate tutorial on how to make the head. So I will put the link in the description box as well as on the i button that is coming up here. So you can go and check that up. And once you are ready with the head part, we will attach it to the body. So this is how it will be. Okay. Uh, and I'll be using the second and third last round of the head to attach it to our body. So we'll do that. So here I've already attached my yarn needle. And I'm going to attach my head. So I'm just going to take one stitch at a time. So one stitch from the body and one stitch from the head. So just go around it one stitch at a time. So I'll just attach my head to the body like this so i'll go around attach it and then i'll show you how this looks take one stitch at a time take one from the head and one from the body now if you want you can just add some pins to make sure that the head stays in place when you are attaching it okay so this is how it's going to be so here i have attached the head to the body and our teddy bear is done now uh, there is one more thing that you can do you can add a small scarf around the neck now this is completely optional you can just keep it like that itself or just add a scarf now if you're planning to make a scarf take the yarn i'm just taking a white color yarn and i'm starting with a slip knot here and i'm going to make about 44 chain stitches okay so or the chain stitch that you feel is required to go around the neck and put a knot so for me it is 44 and when you're doing a chain stitch make sure to keep your hand very very loose uh, because we will be working in the back bumps for your next row so try to make the chain stitch really loose at least 
I like it that way. So I'll make my 44 chain stitch and then join you. Here I have made my 44 chain stitch. Uh, this is really nice and loose here. And now we'll start row one. So for row one, we are going to skip one stitch and into the second stitch, we are going to work a single crochet. And when we are doing a single crochet, we'll be working in the third loop or your back bump. So if you see, we have a V, we have a front and a back. Now, if you just flip it over, you can see a small bump going along the line. So we'll be working in the back bump or the third loop here. So skip the first stitch and into the second stitch from the hook into the back bump just make a single crochet so this is one into the next back bump you can put your next single crochet like that you just have to work a row of single crochet all worked in the third loop now if you're finding working in the third loop really difficult then you can do a normal single crochet that we always do that will also work fine but this will give a much cleaner finish to your scarf no, so that's why I asked you to make your chain stitch really loose so that the third loop uh, just is quite loose to insert your hook. Okay, so I'll finish making one row of single crochet and I'll have a total of 43 single crochet. All right. So here I have completed one row of single crochet. We will do just one more row and with that we can finish up the scarf. So just chain one and turn your work. And here we are again going to do a single crochet and this time we will do the normal way so use both the front and back loops to make a single crochet so insert your hook and make a single crochet so just follow along till the end of this row making a row of single crochet that's it so this again will have a total of 43 single crochets so i'll just complete this and i'll meet you at the end of this row so this is how your scarf will be so here I have completed my second row of single crochet also and I have weaved in all the loose ends on both sides and our little scarf is ready. Now you can just tie this around your teddy bear. Now instead of the scarf you can definitely add a bow or a ribbon or you can just keep it plain as I said. Uh, it's an optional thing. You can make it or just leave it simple. So there our teddy bear is ready. Uh, so that was the tutorial i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you are making one uh, please do tag me in your pictures i leave all my social media handle links in the description box so if you are making one please do not forget to tag me in your pictures so that's it for today's tutorial uh, if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing uh, i do have other amigurumi patterns uh, really simple and beginner friendly so if you're interested you can check the description box i leave a playlist for my amigurumi patterns so that's all for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for